I am finally making a video about the laziest ways to make money online. But this video is about passive income. Laziest ways you can make money online with passive income. And lazy in the sense that with each of these, once you take an individual action and that action works, it'll potentially earn you revenue for years to come. Passive income, baby. Okay, so hear me out. The absolute best way, most future-proof way, and most effective way, like the best, best, best way to make passive income online, wait for it, is YouTube. And not even creating really hard, complicated, heavily edited YouTube videos, not even. There's a big change happening on YouTube and it's creating an opportunity to become a really big, popular, high-earning YouTuber using just your phone, no fancy lights, no $5,000 cameras, no expensive editing software, just your phone, seriously. So here's how much I made my first month being monetized on YouTube, $95. And back then I was only filming one video every week and they were pretty terrible. But still, my first month after being monetized, I made 95 bucks, that's pretty good. And here's the crazy thing about YouTube. Some of those videos that I made years ago when I first got monetized are still making me money today. Just look at this. A few months after I was first monetized, my income went up to $250. And a year after my first month of being monetized, YouTube paid me over $1,200. It's amazing. YouTube's a great way to make passive income. The, the videos you just make snowball your revenue for years and years and years, it's awesome. Now in just a second, I'm gonna show you how to make passive income on YouTube by creating videos where you don't even need to show your face, even if you have absolutely no experience. But first look at this. Last month, YouTube showed me a stat that over 80% of the views on my videos for that month were coming from videos more than six months old, which means that I am getting paid on YouTube for videos I've made months and years ago. It's awesome. Okay, so YouTube's competitive, right? Yes, but also no. So I recently watched a video by Jay Alto that talks about how YouTube is changing. Changing from what we're used to, crazy, fast, high complexity, complex edits, to much more genuine content. Content that really focuses on what everyday people have to say, their perspective, things like that. I've also noticed a huge wave in videos that are like in that satisfying content niche, like rolling a jar of olives down a flight of stairs. I've seen those videos a thousand times. Or like videos of people finally chopping up an onion. They're basically TikTok style videos, all content that can be really easily filmed on your phone. And then there's even faceless YouTube channels. That's a whole other world. So if you're interested, here's a video from my other channel that's all about creating faceless YouTube videos. Check it out. But yeah, YouTube's the number one way to make passive income because you can literally do it from anywhere with your phone. Anyone can do it. And taking me and other monetized YouTubers as examples, you can get paid for years off content you've created once. The second lazy way to make money online is to sell digital products on Etsy that you've created with AI. So a little while ago, I thought of this, what I think to be a pretty cool idea where you use mid-journey AI to create adult coloring book pages. And not just regular coloring book pages. I was thinking like coloring book pages that were so crazy and out there that they'd be sure to get people's attention and get a good laugh. Basically, you'd create a bunch of these pages using mid-journey. And I'm talking like really, really, really crazy stuff. Like one of the ones I created that has me cracking up. It's like a, a really fat guy running down the street horrified there's like mutant chickens and ducks flying and chasing them it's just hilarious what you can do with this app so yeah you create a bunch of these types of coloring book pages and you sell them as a digital product on etsy and my idea for how you would sell these things is also pretty easy you just record yourself coloring in these pages and then upload them to youtube TikTok, instagram as a satisfying video and the idea is if you keep doing this you keep uploading these videos like i just mentioned with the number one item on this list over time, YouTube's gonna give you views. It's gonna create a passive stream of people watching these videos, and then you can link to the products you're selling in the videos. I thought it's a pretty cool idea. And it's super easy. You're literally using AI to create these pages, and then you're just coloring them, them in with like crayons, markers, or pencil crayons. Literally so cheap and easy to get started. Mid Journey costs $10 a month for its most basic plan, and the cost of crayons, like, come on. Posting random stuff on TikTok. Now, I'm not saying this is the easiest, but it's definitely a lazy way to make passive income online. If you have just a little bit of charisma, you could blow up on TikTok. 
There are some ridiculously successful creators on there that are making a ton of money doing random stuff like just showing what they're eating every day. So yeah, if you wanna try this out, just but you have your phone with you anyways, just start recording random stuff as you go about your day and upload them to TikTok to see what sticks. And I know this is definitely a throw stuff at the wall and see what sticks method, but it's lazy, it's easy, it's almost mindless. And you are the one who clicked this video to learn about lazy ways to make money online. So don't shoot the messenger. If you don't like this video anymore, go check some of my other videos on the channel. There's a lot of other stuff that doesn't fall into this vein of lazy ideas. But yeah, if I'm being real with you, if you've made it this far in the video, you should probably realize that maybe looking for lazy ways to make money online isn't the best strategy because all the ideas I posted about in this video, while they can definitely make you some or a lot of money online, it's always going to be harder when you're looking for lazy ways versus doing things where you're actually offering value to people. And even to be successful with any of the ideas I posited in this video, you need to be business minded after a point. And business minded people don't believe in getting rich by being lazy. Anyway, let me know what you think. Which of these ideas did you like best? Bit of a different vibe than the type of videos I usually make, but I hope you really liked it. Till next time. Cheers.